This for me has been an opportunity to actually get out into the field with researchers and with my professors um, to really get hands-on experience learning about some of these conservation issues that you read about in textbooks but you, it's really hard to get a good understanding about them unless you see them with your own eyes. Acadia National Park is uniquely served for our program because it offers a terrestrial conservation component, it offers a marine conservation component. It's of course in a national park setting which is great uh, and it has a, a plethora of different uh, biodiversity niches we can look at. It's been a great week. We've got perfect weather up here. Uh, we've got to see a lot of different environments, marine and terrestrial. I think the best part so far has, since it is an online program, being able to get out in the field and touch things, see things kind of engage your senses. Today was magical. I got out into a boat with my classmates and my professors and our awesome captain, and we saw humpback whales, which I'd never seen before in the wild. Uh, They're on my bucket list of animals, as well as puffins. We saw harbor seals, we saw gray seals, and lots of seabirds flying around diving for, for fish. And these are all different species that we get to learn about in our program. and. Specifically, we get to relate the issues that these species are facing. The intent is to open the students' eyes to the challenges we're facing uh, in conservation biology. What are the issues, what are the challenges, and then uh, what can the students do personally and as a group to try to deal, respond to these issues, trying to understand the science, the policy, the politics. It's a living laboratory and the students have a chance to see firsthand the good things, the challenges that are occurring, and start to think about how to address them.